I think it's better with the shaman, personally, but, you know, I'll take it. I'll sure, it. we'll take it, though. That's the main thing. The question is, how is Ratapai going to look as somebody who's multi-classing? Is he going to be able to make this healer work too even close to the level that he can make disc work? If not, they will get deleted. Okay, well, I like to see this. Of course, we did see Make Your Movie run this composition in Game 5 against Jungle Cleave last tournament. They ended up losing that one, but it was obviously fantastic to see them playing the multiple compositions. They used Villai and Acrylaws. Big questions on Ratapai, though. How is he going to play on the Paladin? Because last time, they made some mistakes with the defensive core lines, and it ended up costing them the game. Well, they ended up just picking a really bad map and a bad strategy for the map. Ratapai already uses the Trinket and the Blessing of Sacrifice to keep Acro very, very aggressive as they make a big swap over on Eliley right now. Ending bandage is going to be used by Big Mex in order to keep Lily alive. Every time he uses that, he's going to be able to remove the bleeds and the poisons that Acro has available. So it's a very effective defensive tool that survival hunters have. It really is a def an effective tool. Like, and that's one of the reasons you would bring the Holy Paladin is because you have so many defensive tools that will basically mitigate the cooldowns from the leaders. And that's that's kind of what you're going for. We see the blind over onto Lily right now. He's playing the Relentless Talent, which is something we've seen from a few of these jungle cleaves. But of course, the blind is the big punish for that. They don't really achieve too much, though, uh, with that full blind. They're going to make a swap over onto the Discipline Priest, but not to any big avail as defensive cooldowns coming in. Big Mex coming out with that Mending Bandage, of course, one of the big tools for the survival. Hunter able to remove all the bleeds from his Discipline Priest. Yeah, Big Peter throwing in some off heals to help stabilize the team of the Deleters. It looks like making a movie, their main strategy is sort of rot everyone down, but everyone from the Deleters has decent self-healing. Looks like Lily is going to be the main pressure point. Once again, Kidney Shot gets committed by Acro onto Lily. He's barely surviving in this situation. Valet basically able to just free cast, getting a lot of pressure out. And Lily, he's going to have a very difficult time stabilizing at this point. There's a full bash trap on a Ratapai. Acro pre-pops the evasion, wants to avoid as much damage as he can. Mind control is coming in from Valet as well to slow down the deleters. And now that they've sort of weathered the storm, making a movie once again, they can get aggressive on a Lily. Yeah, they're looking for it, but Ratapai actually runs in, tanks a fear and bubbles. That's an interesting play there coming out from him on the Hopan. He's looking for the repentance. That's why he pushed in in the first place. Just trying to get that crowd control over onto the DPS, but he gets punished hard there. That four minute defensive cooldown is now down for Radapai. They're swapping over a little bit of damage onto him, giving him something to think about. We're expecting Freezing Trap to come out momentarily here as they're going to be targeting Acro Laws. They're trying to preemptively do it. Radapai may be a little bit scared here. Here comes the trap. We're expecting uh, a full trap out of that stun from Big Mex. They have to cover Villai though. He does have the uh -oh. spell available. He's not going for it. Void Shift forced out. Acro Laws still in trouble and making a movie have almost no defensive cooldowns. Yeah, Radapai, he has his trinket and sacrifice those are the only two things keeping making movie alive melee wing is going to be used by ratify that avenging crusader every time he deals damage he's going to be basically able to top off his team every time he does damage they get healed up now making a movie this is their turn to get aggressive big peter getting low big mix as well he's going to be taking some pressure kidney shot on the lily and this is the setup i want to see for making a movie get everyone low void form actually gets used by valet he wants to get super aggressive this can backfire easily but making a movie they want to close out this game this is the all-in from making a movie. They need to win right here, right now. Lily low on health, but it looks like he might survive it. They might make the swap over onto Villai here. Looks like Acrolos is still the target of choice for now. As Vill Radapai, I think actually a uh, master spell may be coming in on the CC there. Either way, not able to land it. Radapai escapes without using his trinket. Villai will be able to stack up his void form once again. Uses his vampiric embrace for the self-healing as well to keep his team sustained. And I really like the fact that Villai went for it. It's one of the things that we'll only see the top discipline or the top shadow priest going for using that Void Form for the additional damage when they have a kill opportunity and not getting punished for it. It shows great game awareness as we see once again Master Spell onto Ratapai to keep him out of that crowd control. Yeah, Acro in some trouble though. Full trap on Ratapai. He has no way to get out of this. Acro has to keep himself alive. Evasion Faint going to be used out. Belay gets interrupted. Nice cross crowd control coming in from the Deleters. Acro running for his life. Ratapai has to play catch up, but I don't think he has the healing available to keep him alive. And ultimately the Deleters will clean them up and win game number one. It was looking. There's the trap. Had he had bubble here, he could have just used that. And then Acrolotes most likely would have been topped. And look at Lily's mana. He is down to about 10% or less. So at that point, you actually have a pretty solid win condition. And the other thing that I would... Everything. We're not criticizing them for that. They're a fantastic Rogue Mage Priest and they should play it. What we're criticizing them for is hiring a fourth member who they can't utilize because... And they've known this the whole year. villa has been on their team the whole year. He wasn't subbed in and they haven't found a comp that incorporates him well. And that's where they need to make the improvement going into BlizzCon. And the thing was, it was like, okay, you had Legion, and it's like, sure. You knew BFA was around the corner, and it's like, okay, we'll figure it out, maybe in BFA. I, I, 
Time for procrastination's done. Got to get that homework in on time if you want to be able to actually move forward to the next step. Now, the question is, will we see making a movie on the composition that has gotten them so far get deleted yet, yet again? Ooh, Big Max as well as Acro getting very close together. Acro almost in position to take potentially Big Peter out as well if he can find him in stealth. Manages to land the sap. This is a great opener for making a movie. They get the sap on Big Peter, blind on Lily. Now they're doing a huge opener. He has to trinket survival instincts. I think that was the perfect response. Lily gets out of the fear, throws a fear over onto Ratapai, unfortunately into the full polymorph. And now making a movie is actually getting forced into the defensive position where Ratapai is caught into a bash. He has no trinket. Acro has to sort of kite away and just survive. Yeah, we saw quite a lot of coins forced out there from Big Peter. He had to use his trinket, of course. That's the big one. And, and Acrolos is playing the smoke bomb talent. So we'll be looking to set up an opportunity over onto Big Peter later. Lily, of course, has that power of barrier is the kind of anti smoke bomb that the Discipline Priest has. We see Kidney Shot now might be looking for something. Lily actually trinkets, tries to premonition the sheep, but Mauro fakes that, gets the full polymorph. Excellent read from Mauro. A very high level mage gameplay. There is another polymorph over onto Lily as they look to try to find some pressure over onto Big Peter. Full trap now on Ratapai. Acro once again has to play defensive. Going to be using this power word barrier as well as his feint to survive. But you can see Acro doesn't have anything left. No vanish, no feint, no evasion, no cloak of shadows. Ratapai's going to have to keep him alive. But if they can land crowd control on Ratapai without him using that uh, pain suppression, uh, it's going to be very dangerous for Acro. It's going to be very dangerous as we see the smoke bomb coming up. But he grips the smoke bomb. Lily with another huge play in this matchup. That was the kill for making a movie there. They got Big Peter in the stun, in the smoke bomb, gripped by Lily. That could be the game winning play. Full trap now over onto Ratapai. Acrolos is on the run. Polymorph's coming out galore from Mauro, who's just trying to keep his team in the fight. But that was the win condition. And Lily comes out and says, nope, deleted definitely take the lead in this game. Yeah, big heels on a big Peter. He's going to be moving in, wants to close out this game, putting pressure onto Acro. All they need is one more CC chain. Nice polymorph over onto Lily. They're looking to get aggressive on Big Peter once again. Morrow actually ice blocks the CC, looking for the re-polymorph onto Lily. Nicely done. Will Big Peter be able to get away? Another fear coming in from Ratapai, but it seems like Big Peter is going to be able to survive. Another flurry Ice Lance combo going to be connecting from Morrow onto him, but Lily gets out of the crowd control, stabilizes his team, and making a movie, they're running out of time. Yeah, they really are. You can see Ratapai's mana pool very, very low. This next crowd control could be deadly, although Ratapai has managed to rotate his trinket back up. We're seeing Mighty Bash come in here as the trap should follow. There it is. Lily, though, at the same time, caught up in the blind. This is the crossover trinket from Ratapai, trying to keep Acrolos in the fight. Dark Archangel will achieve nothing due to the stun on Acrolos, and he's the one now trying to put some pressure onto Big Peter. You can see that tank trinket, the Veiled Eye, proccing as he's kiting away for his dear kitty life. DR Fear shouldn't be enough to land the kill, though. That relentless talent from Lily keeps them through the blind and keeps them in the game. Ratapai has nothing left to work with. There's a fear coming in from Lily. Acro, last line of defense is that evasion. He shadow steps over to Lily, just trying to avoid some pressure from Big Max. And it looks like some polymorphs coming in from Morrow as well, but Ratapai into the full trap. I don't know how Acro's going to survive this one into the full stun and ultimately gets taken down. And this is just how this matchup is played out. Making a movie, they have to win so quickly, really rely on the mistakes coming in from the deleters. And if they can't capitalize on that... With as much damage as possible, because Lily's playing that relentless and the other criticism of, uh, of this game is that Maru didn't use his pet nova or ice nova or any of his you know guys are just performing at such a good level right now and, and yes making a movie throughout the year has been consistent they are one of the best at what they do but what is it about their competition right now what is it about the deleters adrian that has made them such a strong team that's taking down so many different teams i mean jungle cleave is just really strong in the current meta we've got three jungle cleaves in the top eight once again deleters skill cap both of them not going to blizzcon but looking better and better and i mean let's not forget we've talked about those enhancement nerfs feldred's also got hit in that their damage was increased by four five percent i believe so they're looking better from last week as well and every little thing that adds up helps deleters helps skill cap red and should help reformed but making a movie they, they their team that should be strong enough to adapt you know back at the first land of the year it was flappers who just did the most damage and now the question is is there a new king of the jungle is it going to be big peter because you look at the damage meter and he has just been crushing all day long yep yeah, acro and stealth right now looking for an opening if he can find big peter and stealth 
Uh, that would be a great start for them if they can get a sap there. I really want to see Ratapai play very far away from Lila. He needs to not be tanking any fears in this game. Just needs to sit back, rotate through his defensives, and allow Acro and Vallee to slowly whittle down the deleters. Yeah, this is the thing that you'll see often in these kind of stealthy stealth matchups. Acro Lol's only goal in life right now is to find Big Peter. If he can find him and land a sap onto him, that's going to be a fantastic opener for this Shadow Priest Rogue composition. You can see Ratapai, he's got the Avenging Crusader. He's looking to put out a ton of damage as well. Big Peter getting close now, almost finding him. Are they going to find the sap here? That acro moves in. Garot on the Lily right now. Looking like they want to get started very early on. Big Peter responds with a stun on Acro. Kitty shot on Lily. So managed to find the paint suppression from Lily. That's a big victory early on. They actually silence up Big Peter there. I'm not entirely sure about that one. Maybe trying to stop some of those off heels, but not too much uh, to be achieved from that. We see the fear now and Radapai as they're once again getting aggressive over onto Acro Loss. He's used every single defensive cooldown aside from that Vanish. We see Evasion, Cloak of Shadows, Trinket from him. Radapai uh, putting out a lot of damage with the Avenging Crusader. We see a blind onto Lily into the full sap. They're looking for something on Big Peter here, but not not achieving too much. The preemptive bear form should be enough to keep the Druid alive. Yeah, that was a good play from Peter. He throws some heals on himself as well. It, looking like he wants to get aggressive in cat form. Once again, Acro a little bit vulnerable in this situation. Nice life grip coming in from Valet. Ratapai has been holding on to his Blessing of Sacrifices as well as the Blessing of Protection. So those are going to be available for him. Ratapai basically has every single defensive left. It looks like making a movie they want to rotate a little bit differently. Ratapai gets out of the CC, throws a Blessing of Protection, gets dispelled. Faint going to be enough, but Blessing of Protection gets dispelled instantly by Lily. Acro is still going to be vulnerable. Hand of Sacrifice has to use by Ratapai, but Lily in a little bit of trouble as a nice mind control comes in from Valet, trying to walk him out of that defensive cooldown. I actually really like the adaptation coming here from making a movie. Ratapai, as you can see, hasn't used Trinket or Divine Shield. Rather, Acro has used his defensive coins, and those are going to rotate much better because, you know, they're just simply on shorter cooldowns. He's going to have the evasion up in about 50 seconds. Ratapai still has one of those hand of sacrifices available as we see big peter going for the mighty bash and trying to peel for his healer now acrolos though is in a very safe situation ratapai still has trinket still has one of or well, uses his trinket there has one of the hand of sacrifices available and you can see the rock pressure coming out from making a movie lily's already used about 70 percent of his mana pool he's really struggling in this situation and villai has a lot more space to cast out those mind controls because he's not having to play so defensively oh that was so nicely done lily for the first time in the game tries to run over to ratapai and land a fear but valet denies it with that mind control and walks Lily so far away and unfortunately with the uh, crippling poison coming in from Acro it's going to be a very slow walk for Lily to actually get that crowd control he needs on Ratify. Ratify positioned very defensively right now trying to top himself off he's been exchanging his health for Acro's in this there's a full trap on Ratify. he bubbles trying to keep Acro alive he's got one second on evasion he gets stunned up he gets taken down with the stun it's going to be a disaster he trinkets out evasion cloak of shadows vendetta gets pulled as well Lily just needs to hold on for a little bit longer as he gets low into the full silence making a movie looking to claim game number three yep. making a movie has finally been able to make this composition work and what vendetta back up there's no outs and there's no abilities lily can use in that cc chain and look at vilaya perfect double fear right there follows it up with the side he's going to blizzcon the deleters know that they cannot but they're a team that has made a name for themselves already and if they can pull down this series, they will continue to do just that. Whoever loses this is done from this tournament. The last tournament before BlizzCon, the gates are now open. Yeah, making a movie life on the line. We'll have to see how they open up. Valet going to be charging in right away, wants to get some damage rolling, get himself into that uh, edge of insanity, so it doesn't really take too much damage. Trinkets out of the pounce and immediately, actually. So he wants to get those dots up so he can get that insanity generation going, but maybe the deleters can capitalize on it. Uh, I, I think it's a nice move from Vilay because you, you will get the insanity up much faster. You don't want to get caught up taking too much damage in that opener. Gets a beautiful triple fear there as well, just to kind of start the game off. And he has that full purple bar now. So he's kind of out the picture as a target. We'll now see deleters go over to Acro Laws, who has committed his vendetta. And if they can get a lot of damage here, we see Ratify's already committed his trinket to this go, which is different to how they rotated in game three. Yeah, Acro low. If he has to trade out the evasion here, it's going to be a disaster. Kidney shot now over on the Lily once again, making a movie, looking to get aggressive. Silence on the Lily into a Hodge. A little bit of an overlap there from making a movie. Lily's going to be able to survive. Mending bandage gets traded out by Big Max once again. Lily running away. Gets distance for one of the first times in this matchup, and Deleter's actually turning their attention on Ratapai. If they could force up the bubble here, it could be huge. Yeah, I mean, it really could. Uh, that would be the last kind of crowd control breaker Ratapai would have available to him. I believe he used his uh, his racial there on the 
the Dwarf to reduce some of that incoming damage, remove some of those blades, and also get a healing increase since he is playing the new uh, the new racial there. We see Rat Ratapai looking for some repentances, and this is something they can do as well. They can get the repentance onto Big Max and then crowd control it with the stun on Lily to deny the incoming dispel. That would be something that would definitely be a good play for Ratapai without exposing him to, you know, running towards the Dispriest and getting himself psychic screamed. We can see Lily kind of slowly pushing up, but because they're targeting him the entire game, it's so hard for him to land those fears. Yeah, now Acro into the maim, and Lily still charging forward. MD going to be thrown out by Valet. Lily right there for the fear. Is he going to be able to land it? The sacrifice comes in from Ratapai, and Lily actually just decides to not fear him because it would break anyways as all the damage onto Acro is being redirected onto Ratapai. So I think that was a smart decision, sort of forcing Ratapai's hand to use that defensively to make sure he's not caught into the crowd control so he could save his bubble. But it's basically just a fake from uh, the deleters. Yep, and they, I mean, they get the cooldown, right? They get the second sacrifice. Now Divine Shield has to come out from Radapai as well. He has nothing left. Trinket rotating in about 13 seconds, but he won't have a sacrifice to press. Acrolol still has the Trinket Evasion, though. Actually trades out Evasion maybe slightly preemptively here because Radapai did use that Divine Shield there. Now we see the Avenging Crusader. That's going to be trapped Trinket from Radapai. All the defensive cooldowns, they're all inning on this go. Blind, fear, cross control. Lily though, with the Rapture, should be able to sustain if he can just get out of the silence here. Big Peter's back. He's He's looking for the peels, trying to deny this kill off healing as much as he can, and now making a movie without defensive cooldowns are in a lot of trouble there. They have nothing except the void shift from Valet. Full fear on the Ratapai. Valet has to keep his team alive. Acro running for his life. He gets the freedom by Ratapai. It's going to allow him to cut just a little bit more, but actually Big Mix is the one that could be in a little bit of trouble here. Nice mind controls coming in from Valet, slowing down some of the damage from the deleters. Acro still could fall, though. Full trap on Ratapai. Uh, it does get a mass dispel by Valet, which was huge, allowing Ratapai to get those heals out that he critically needed. Yep, that's one of the big reasons you bring the Shadow Priest to the matchup. That mass dispel on the 45 second cooldown, removing your healer from crowd control or magic, or dispelling any magic, let's be honest. Definitely the thing that kept making a movie in the fight there. Now they have another lease on life, and Lily is low on mana. That mana pool at about 5%, I would say. Maybe a couple more Radiances in the tank, but that's about it. Big Peter trades out his final survival instincts, I believe, here as well. So really defensive cooldowns for Deleters are struggling. Radapai, though, also low on cooldowns. Doesn't have any of those crowd control breaks. If they can land the trap here, good math. mind control, though, coming out from Villai, denying that from Big Mechs. The trap's slightly late. Acrolos running, gets caught up in the stun. Could die here. This is match point. Villai comes in with the life swap, trying to keep his team alive. Full fear onto Radapai, though. This is not over yet. Yeah, Acro puts a kidney shot on. Peter, realizing Lily has no mana whatsoever, making a move. If they can hold on a little bit longer, they might be able to take Peter down. Acro still just flailing to survive. He's taking so much damage in this matchup. Ratapai almost completely tapped on mana. No cooldowns available. Big Max all over him. Peter there as well. Maim stun onto Ratapai. Acro all alone. Mind control onto Valet. Still just trying to kite away. No cooldowns left. And the deleters will take him down. Another BlizzCon team deleted by the deleters. It's just the theme of the day. These guys are the real deal. There, there's nothing to get to the point where we are here. Where Ratapai, you can see uh, at the top left of your screen, Everything has a cooldown pretty much. And same thing goes for Acre. Only really has his trinket to work with at this point in the game. And then there it is. A classic jungle setup. Stun into full trap. Acro trinkets, but doesn't have his evasion. No, it's three seconds left. No, Acro. I mean, it was to look like we've talked about this theme of shamans all over the place and also jungles all over the place. And Method Black versus Skill Cap Red is the next matchup. Uh, do you think that Skill Cap Red can take down Method Black? Revenge of Zunia feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up one and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.